almost every single person who ever realizes their soulmate at some point is disappointed with the choice God has made. Um, <laughs> um, the reason why is many fold. So it's all to do with the emotions. So a lot of times in the spirit world, you could introduce a soulmate couple and they'll take one look at each other and say, nah, that can't be my soulmate. And they'll go off for another 50 years and have other relationships and then come back 50 years later realizing that that person probably is their soulmate. And this happens not just because of sexuality. It happens because of all sorts of emotions within the soul. You know, what we expect, what we expect them to look like, what condition we expect them to be in, and all sorts of things. When you think about it today, if you, you get most women making a list on the internet, right? You know, who have you done internet dating? I have, so you can lay out and put up your hand. <laughs> yeah, see more people than me. But I did internet dating, and you know, you start describing yourself, right? So you describe, you know, how, how and all of it's physical, isn't it? Most of it. You know, you're this whole, you're this, you're this. Then they start talking about your likes and your dislikes, but very little of that is your soul. All right? And so the majority of people are only attracted to other people based on common likes, common dislikes, uh, in terms of physical attractiveness and all these other aspects. But very little of those are actually based around the soul, what's really going on at the soul level. And so for that reason, when people pass in the spirit world and meet their soulmate, they look at their soulmate and go, that's not what I expected, it, you know? Without any further ado, dismissing the whole thing and going off with another person and then coming back many, many years later, sometimes centuries later, realising that that person was actually their soulmate. And this happens all the time. So yes, many people in the spirit world meet their soulmates and are very disappointed. Can you imagine if you were uh, if you were a uh, if you were not developed in love, and somebody came along and said, "Look, I'll take you to see your soulmate," and this is in the spirit world, and so they grab your hand and they take you down to the hills, down, down, down into the hills, right? Way, way, way down, and this has actually happened to some of my friends in the spirit world way, 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 way down, and you're almost to the bottom of the hills, and there's this terrible, ugly thing, right? literally, like just laying on the ground in this terrible amount of pain, and then they say, oh, that's your soulmate. <laughs> you imagine that? Would you be very impressed? <laughs> and some, some people feel quite angry with God that that's the way it is and all sorts. This is what actually happened to quite a number of people historically where they've had soulmates that have been in terrible conditions. So a soulmate is not necessarily what you are going to be physically attracted to. But if you open up your soul, you will find a huge attraction at the soul level. And then as that attraction grows, you will find as they grow in love, they become more physically attractive anyway. So in the spirit world, by the time you get to the second sphere, you're actually looking pretty good, right? All of those, you know, big, you know, big, terrible, destructive looking, yeah, what would you call it? It's just terrible. And this ugly looking face gets transformed into someone that's about 40 or 45 looking. And by the time they're in the third sphere, it's about 30. By the time you're in the fourth sphere or fifth sphere, it's about in the late 20s. By the time you hit the sixth sphere, you're all about 25, right? In terms of the way you look. And everyone's got nice bodies, you know? Everyone's built. And, uh, and so you're more and more attractive. Of course, it's not very important because everyone's like that. So you imagine walking down the beach. You know, at the moment, you walk down the beach and there's a guy there with, you know, good abs and big shoulders and he's walking around like... <laughs> showing himself off a bit or there's a girl there, you know, just wiggling her hips and legs. Like and, and, and she's she knows she's the most beautiful thing on the beach, right? In the spirit world, imagine that every single person on the beach looks like that. So in the third sphere, that's what it's like. Every single person on the beach looks like that. So would you start looking at how they look? No. You start looking at deeper qualities, don't you? And this is what the soul attraction is all about, looking at the deeper qualities. Does that make sense? So 
Understand that what you're seeing physically is a very, very minor, minor part of attraction. And we'll talk about attraction a little in a minute.